We have uh, we have Landon Collins. Oh, we do. Landon mm. Collins report brought to you by the New York Structural Steel Painting Contractors Association, Security Dodge, Chrysler Jeep Ram of Amityville, Long Island, and PC Richard and Son. Landon, Michael, Don, and Peter, how are you today? I'm good, good. Little star, but good. Um, so your thoughts about yesterday's game? How the uh, you had a very good game, but overall, what did you think about the defense? Um, I think the defense played very, very well. Um, we held one of the highest guys going off uh, for most of the game. Um, how they run down for most of the game and uh, stop the they stop Drew Brees from not throwing, throwing the ball into the end zone. So they did pretty good. So did that come at the expense of of, of their ground game and, and being able to get uh, some things done out of the backfield? Say that one more time. By focusing so much on their passing game, did that allow them to get the the ton of yards from the line of scrimmage from their running back? Uh no. We we gave up three big runs in the last in the last in the last well, four minutes of the game. You take away three big runs, he's he's running. He got what eighty four yards for two point nine a carry. So mm -hmm. now uh, after the game, Alec Ogletree said that the officials told him we wouldn't call some of these calls in the Super Bowl. He said, that's wrong. Did you hear when he said that? And what, what's your thoughts on that? Oh, man. Oh, no, I, I wasn't with um, a couple of guys actually rushed that. And uh, he said the same thing to them. I didn't was know that would happen. Uh, but my thoughts are just call the correct call. Don't call that then. Like, it's a football game. Every every call, every second, every minute, every yard counts in this game. And everybody needs it. You know, that's a dramatic change to be calling something that, that big at that type of situation. So, um, for him to say that, that's, that's outrageous. Yeah, the the, um, the horse collar, there was not a horse collar. It just uh, I don't know if you're a fan of reviewing those types of plays, but, you know, just how devastating it is when you called a 15-yard penalty and it wasn't even close to being a penalty. That's what I'm saying, like, yeah. those calls, and then, I mean, it's crazy because we see that, and then they pick up the block in the back against the Saints, but give us right. a harsh collar when it wasn't a harsh collar. I'm like, that makes no sense, um, and it just wasn't a fair game being called. I mean, if you were to, if, if someone was to tell you that you guys were going to hold Drew, Drew Brees to 217 yards, no touchdowns in the air, and Kamara would have had, you know, 75 yards with a few minutes left in the fourth quarter. I'm guessing you would have thought that would have been a victory for the Giants. I would I would have thought it gave us a chance to maybe to, to win the game, definitely. We gave us a chance to get the ball back to offense. Uh, be in a situation to win the game, of course. Now, that being said, Landon, we're talking with Landon Collins, the weekly spot on the Michael K Show. Is the defense starting to get aggravated? The offense isn't scoring points. No, not at all. We have total faith in our offense. They, they have all the keys to the weapons. They, they gonna definitely get it together. So we, we not stressing it because it's our duty on defense. If we wasn't doing it right, if they was scoring points, we wasn't stopping it. Their duty is just can't continue playing ball, and that's what we're gonna continue doing: just playing ball and getting them all the opportunities and all the time to score and getting them in good position to score. So, now. You're a good teammate, so I know that's the reason why you're showing support to the offense. But 37 straight games, Lando, without scoring 30 points, you you went up against one of the worst defenses in football. So, so where is your other than just being a good teammate? Where is your faith in this offense coming from? My faith is in within those guys. I mean, we have all the weapons over there. Honestly, um, we know they're gonna get together. We watch them practice. They practice hard each and every day, and getting their repetition down, their assignments down, and what they're supposed to do. Just it's trying, once it transfer over, we know it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. I mean, it's only the first four games. Um, it's, it's, it was a long season to go. Now you guys are one and three, Landon. Last year you were three mm -hmm. and thirteen. What can you mm -hmm. tell Giant fans that it's not gonna happen again? I mean, one and three, and you haven't played well in the three losses. Uh, I mean, I would say we have played well. I would say we, we don't have that many. We don't have injuries like we had last year, and they're not teams are not putting up a lot of points on us. We just have to figure it all out and just continue mm -hmm. playing hard. We continue playing hard. Uh, all things will change. I mean, we only losing by the last few seconds. So we, once we figure out how to do the win those, those those last few minutes of the game, we'll be all right. All right. How's Pat Shermer been behind the scenes? Is he is he ripping you? Is he encouraging you? How is he handling this one and three start? No, he's encouraging us. Honestly, he's 
Um, definitely putting more pressure on us because, I mean, that was the first four games. Um, the first quarter of the season is over with. Um, it's about to change. It might be a dramatic change with, um, like, how teams are system, system-wise, um, scheme-wise, and stuff like that. So um, the studying, your habits, everything has to change within um, playing this game. Um, it's about being a pro, and that's what we need to do. What's it like in that locker room? Are guys still believing, or is there some... Is there some concern? Guys still believing, honestly. Um, everybody's still in a positive mindset. I don't see anything. Nobody, he say, she say, pointing fingers, anything going on in the locker room. We we still the brotherhood because it's not that like we're not. We know we're just giving the games up. We we actually fighting for it and we lose a close game. So we know that um, what we have to put on it, what we have and. We can keep working to get there. So, Lynn, and honestly, this this season has a different feel than last year's did. Yeah, way different, honestly. And we have all our guys still. We all are still healthy. We still playing football and um, playing good. So uh, it's way different. We everybody not down or trying to figure out how we're going to win or what or we're going to find a one. We know we can win. We just got to put it all together. Any thoughts on the Panthers? Uh, I mean, they're a good team. They kind of sort of the same as. Um, New Orleans was shifting motions um, for defensively. Uh, they they going to be sound, and they got a good defense on their side of the ball. The offense got to be prepared for that. They got a good offense with Cam Newton and McCaffrey doing their thing. So we got to make sure we sound on that and stopping the running and um, and stopping the pass uh, and making sure we all on side on, on our assignment. So we got we got a tough task ahead. How much do you guys need Olivier Vernon to get back, and also Eli Apple? Uh, I mean, those guys are big to our defense. We need them back um, as much as possible. But uh, they're definitely going to be back soon, I think so. All right, Landon, thanks so much. We'll talk to you next Monday. Appreciate it, yo, guys.